my cystoscopy. I hope I said that right. Um, Before that rude eruption we're gonna be going to the hospital and it's kind of like a minor surgery because they're putting me to sleep and they are changing my bladder a little bit they're gonna stretch it um, by doing that they're gonna put some kind of fluid in it and I don't know what it's called a cytoscope hopefully I'm saying that right with hydrostension usually done as an outpatient procedure under regional or gen general anesthesia is used to diagnose and sometimes treat interstitial cystitis during cystoscopy. The inside of the bladder is examined, then, then the bladder is filled with high pressure hydrostension fluid or something. I don't know. Um, I didn't read that very well. Did I read that shitty? It's alright. When my mom woke me up, like, as soon as she woke me up, my heart just, like, sunk inside of me. Like, this ball of, like, anxiety, dread, just sensation. And I, I wanted to cry. And I really want to cry now, but I'm not going to because I, I think I'm good right now. But I'm very nervous about this. I've looked into um, some of my support groups online for IC, and some people have gotten worse after this. My doctor has not experienced that, though. So I should be fine, but you know, there's always a possibility for shit to happen, and um, that's what worries me. I think it's really low, though. But um, yeah, I'll update you when I get inside the building. No! No! So we're on our way. Wait, we're already here. So we're here, we're just waiting. We signed in and did a bunch of paperwork. So we're just waiting for them to call me back. So wish me luck. Okay, so we're in the room. I got this nice hairdo. Don't you think it's like? Oh, there's not in it, by the way. It doesn't matter, right? No. These are like baby hairs. They're not gonna go in there. But I feel like I look like a um. Oopa loopa. No, not no. oopa loopa. Jellyfish. Doesn't it kind of look like a jellyfish top? But we're here. I've got this unbuttoned because if it's buttoned, it does this, and it's like no, I'm choking and dying sensory issues so I don't know if they need to figure out a different thing that's like lower cut so we're in the room we're just waiting hi there hello <laughs> my name is Raquel how are you I'm here so I'm gonna take some vital signs on you just take some blood pressure okay if you look at your armband and read me your name and date of birth to make sure it's correct I'm a little special. <laughs> what am I doing? Reading your name and date of birth to make sure it's correct. Katie Few, or do you want it backwards? Nope, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> and your date of birth? 71097. Okay. No! And Dr. O'Neill's your doctor. What Finger procedure are you having done here today? I think you say it's cytoscope. Is that how you say it? Okay. She does a lot of. She does what do you do? YouTube. You know, YouTube stuff. Oh, does she? Mm -hmm. Is there contacts or anything? No. Nope. That's all she has to do all day since she, she can't work, so. Good. You're a YouTuber, so I should look you up? Yeah, Disabled Mermaid. Okay. What is it? The Disabled Mermaid. Okay. I am uh, mainly do like a uh, medical limbo awareness, which uh -huh. is like when you're undiagnosed. Big, big stick, okay. That felt amazing. Or can you tell me what you're having done today? Cytoscopy or cytoscope. Cystoscopy. Cystoscopy. I'll get that out for your doctor in a minute, okay? Dr. O'Neill. I'll get out. Hello. 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 I'm fine with it. Okay, I won't try not to get your face in it though, because it's gonna go on YouTube. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> I think Facebook is the one that recognizes people's faces, and uh, 
<laughs> links it up to everybody that they you know. Right? Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to take that in the OR, right? You're giving me medicine. The camera? Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. No, I will say you. All right. Now you need to view your face because yeah. this stuff feels pretty weird some, to some people. Oh, she needs to take her full up on. She has her full up on. Oh, yeah. Can we? Well, y'all can just rip it off of me, I guess. Okay. We'll, we'll rip it off. <laughs> I have accidentally peed on myself since. That's okay. Not a problem. Hey, let me throw in I'm getting tired. Is Jake going to be with Jake's Oh, I don't know. Is Jake going to Literally and figuratively, right? I'll, I'll sign it anyway. <laughs> if you want me to. This is gross. Damn. I feel funny. This is why we don't do drugs. <laughs> this is why we do drugs. Okay. All right, here turn we go. That off and hand over. Okay, we're out of the procedure and I'm on my way home. I have a horrible flare, so I'm going to talk to y'all later. Hey, so it's been about a week since I have had my cystoscopy. I kind of feel like I'm able to go over everything now. The day after the surgery, I woke up sick and we ended up going to the doctor and found out that I had the flu. Um, they gave me a, um, what do you call it? Tamiflu, I think is what you call it. And I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Um, my voice kind of comes and goes, so if I sound a little funny, that's kind of why. I don't think I sound too funny, though. When I woke up from the surgery, I had instantly woken up with a flare. I don't remember too much. Um, I don't remember anything, actually, of the day of the surgery. Um, I, rem I know that it's happened. Like It's kind of weird because I can watch stuff because I recorded it. And I know that they happened, but I don't necessarily remember it, but I don't unremember it. I don't know, it's weird. I know for sure that as soon as they started like wheeling me out and I gave the camera to my mom, that I don't remember anything after that. The stuff in the car, I kind of remember a little bit as I watch it. I'm like, okay, I can remember that. But a lot of it, I don't. But anyway, um, I woke up with a horrible flare and um, they said that three guys had to hold me down. Um, Apparently, I was trying to run away from them to get into the bathroom. I needed to get to the bathroom to empty my bladder out. Um, apparently, it had full, gotten full again since they had emptied it from the procedure. So, I don't really know how long I had been sleeping um, since getting out of the um, operation room thing. Um, but, um, with interstitial cystitis, it doesn't take that long for your bladder to get full and need to be emptied. And they had just been, you know, sticking shit in and out of my urethra and aggravating it. So having a flare afterwards made sense. And that was what I was worried about when I was going to wake up. I was worried that I was going to have a really bad flare. My biggest fear was I heard that they were going to have to take the catheter out when I was awake. Thankfully, that wasn't a thing. They took everything out when I was asleep. Um, I still woke up with a flare though and because I have autism and so it's really hard for me to communicate what I want to say um, I sound I feel like I sound a little bit smarter in my head and when I come out like when I talk out loud it doesn't come out the same way when I'm trying to convey something and a mixture with the drugs I like remember not being able to physically communicate um, I remember trying to move and push and sit myself up, but something was like holding me back and apparently those were the people doing that. I don't remember people touching me, I just remember trying to get oh, up and tell the lady in front of me to to let me go to the bathroom. It was It's very confusing, my memory of it and what I know now, it's, it's pretty confusing. Um, but along with fighting three men to get to the restroom, and having the flu. I'm very very sore so that's what this pillow is back here if you were wondering. I'm sitting on a huge u-shaped pregnancy pillow because that helps with pain and I also sleep with it. But anyway, he, um, my doctor confirmed again my interstitial cystitis. Um, we don't know very much yet just that I have interstitial cystitis. Um, there was some people get relief from the cystoscopy with the hydrostension, which is what I got, and I can't tell you if I've gotten relief. Um, I can't really tell you anything at this moment. It's only been a week. Um, 
I do have to say that it is different. I can't tell you if it's good or bad. I haven't really made up my decision yet. Um, my cats are loud. Hmm. <laughs> no. Ah. Hmm. No. But um, they're trying to climb the curtains. Anyway. Um. Hey, you two. Y'all need to stop. But yeah, I haven't really totally made my decision yet. I wouldn't say it's worse, and I wouldn't say it's better. Um, it is different. My, they, they, ignore them. I'm sorry. They, um, my bladder just seems to hold more a little bit, and I can't decide if I like that. It's not necessarily bad, but when I, when I need to get up to go to the restroom, I've noticed that my bladder is so full that I'm waddling, kind of like a penguin. And I don't know if I like that necessarily. I guess it's nice that it can hold more. But I feel like I'm still going the same amount that I was going. So, like, they just made more room for pee at this moment is what it feels like they did. And I don't know. I don't know. That's what it is now. Of course, when I go back to see my IC doctor, I will update you more about how my bladder's doing. But until then, I'm still recovering. I still have been getting flares every single day since the procedure, which is not fun. I normally don't have a flare every single day. Sometimes I can go a few days or a few... My cats will not stop playing with everything. But um, I can go a few days sometimes to... Y'all need to leave. Okay, I kicked them out. What was I saying? Some days I can go a few days... Or even a few weeks if I'm lucky without having a flare. And I've had a flare every single day. And, um, not fun. So along with being sick from the flu and everything, I'm kind of recovering from this little minor surgery that I had on my bladder. Which is basically where they just, like, go in, take a look-see, and stretch my bladder. And then come back out. Um, I realized that I did, my mom was being a little bit too nice. I read the thing for y'all and it was terrible, so, um, sorry about that, but the links for where I got the information I'm off is going to be down there in the description box with all my other links. Before I go, I'm just going to say that I was extremely nervous before this procedure and, um, was worried about how the outcome would be and how I would handle it, and I'm really glad of how I handled it, and I don't regret it. Um, it was nice to have, um, kind of like a confirmation of them actually seeing the cystitis in my bladder instead of it just based on symptoms, which is what my first diagnosis was on, which, um, is a valid diagnosis, but it's just nice to know that somebody's seen it, if that makes any sense. Um, hopefully I can get some pictures. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any pictures of my bladder. Oh, I'm out of breath. But, um... Because I'm so out of breath, I'm going to let y'all go. Um, let me know if you have had a cystoscopy um, for any reason. Um, I, the only reason I know of is interstitial cystitis. So also, if you have interstitial cystitis, let yourself be known. I'd love to get to know you. And um, don't forget that I love you. Have an amazing day. And thank you for choosing to stay alive. Bye-bye.